Hello and welcome to Times Food. I'm Smita Mishra and today we have with us Chef Aditi Handa. Most of you must have tried making sourdough bread at home during the pandemic. Aditi Handa is the person who is given the credit of popularizing this bread variety in India and making it available all across the country. A very warm welcome to you Aditi. So how has the pandemic been treating you? The pandemic uh, has been surprisingly quite uh, kind on us. Um, where obviously life got difficult for everyone life was quite difficult for us to work on too but uh, i think during the pandemic what all the essential services have experienced has uh, been an increase in demand and we at the bakers doesn't had a similar thing where we saw a big influx in demand of uh, not only essential services but they also wanted people wanted healthy products hygienic products um, and i think that advantage of us uh, making bread and cakes in a hygienic facility always keeping health as the first parameter right from in the, in the past 8 years of us being around has uh, helped us uh, get more customers because we are all in a similar philosophy now so 2021 was the year of uh, sado bread you know it all started in 2020 and then it just spilled over to 2021 and almost everyone i think all of us tried making it at home <laughs> why do you think that it suddenly became so popular I don't think I'll ever really have the answer to that, but uh, my rationale behind that is, um, I think bread baking is a very therapeutic uh, activity to do. Uh, some people do it for their passion, some people do it to, uh, as a stress buster. But I felt uh, last year uh, when the first lockdown was announced, when really you know people started baking a lot at home, they had more free time. They were extremely stressed about with this, this novel situation around us. So I think a lot of people started baking bread. as a stress buster i also think another avenue another reason could be that people wanted to eat healthier right people wanted to be stronger wanted to have better food and what better than to be able to bake your own bread or bake bread in the authentic way it's meant to be, happen so i think these are the kind of reasons i think so but i still think there's a huge unexplained phenomena and i will never really know what happened just like dalgona coffee in 2020 it was yeah. i think yeah <laughs> so you know a lot is being uh, uh, written about and uh, told about uh, the industrial bread that most of us eat so uh, what what do you think is actually against that variety of bread and why do you think it is not good for us uh so i always believe that whatever food one consumes whether it's a bread a cake or a vegetable or a fruit uh, it's extremely important uh, that it is uh, it's fresh it's seasonal it's regional and more importantly it's made using the authentic techniques i always say if you follow a recipe of let's say even making saag because you know it's winter it's the season of saag if you make saag in the right season and with the recipe your grandmother or your mother or your great grandmother gave you the taste and health will always be a tick mark and uh, when i learned how to bake bread in uh, 2012 one of the things i learned was let's make bread the authentic way and this is not a uh, jersey our culture in a way the bread is not something that was born in india but obviously india consumes a huge amount of bread so it's very important to realize the uh, european techniques of making bread and respecting those in making bread like that today and i feel anyone who is doing that has a good product out there it doesn't have to just be bakers doesn't anyone who is following the authentic ways of making bread is giving a good product out there and anyone who's not is probably compromising on how on the goodness of bread that exists and they're kind of missing out on that uh, bandwagon bakers dozen uh, is the first artisanal bread brand of india so can you decode artisanal for our readers what is it exactly what kind of breads are these so artisanal the word actually means handmade it means nothing beyond handmade a lot, a lot of times people start thinking artisanal is god may artisanal is fancy no it really is handmade you know the dal you make at home in the evening for your kids is artisanal it's really as simple as that now um if you look at any art form uh, artisanal handmade is very difficult to get it's usually in a very very uh, small quantity and hence not very scalable you look at uh, handmade paintings you look at at handmade embroidery or a handmade bread and where at the bakers doesn't we've been uh, we feel we've been able to kind of uh, bridge this gap is where we make a handmade product 
but because of our uh, process technology because of our packaging technology we can take a handmade product at a national scale and that is why we feel we are one of the few brands who's been able to take artisanal which is handmade at a national scale okay so in most of these artisanal brands you know uh, it's written that it is it doesn't have any preservatives added to it so uh, yeah. Uh, how how does it last long how do these products you know they survive for a longer period like they have a shelf life of 4 to 5 days so how do they manage without the preservatives so you're re- very right uh, when one uh, reads any product to be artisanal whether it's a bread or a jam or anything uh, it is uh, without preservatives it should be without preservatives because uh, handmade means almost as good as homemade right Uh, now uh, this is the challenge we also faced at the bakers dozen when we started bakers dozen in the year 2013 and we were selling breads in normal plastic bags and we had a shelf life of about 2 days and we had to uh, we wanted to go national with a product uh, as good as ours and we believed that everyone in india should have the opportunity of eating good bread but how do you go uh, pan india without shelf life and we were very clear we didn't want to add any preservatives to it because it would just have kind of gone against the point we were trying to make the packaging technology that we adopted is uh, what helped us get there it's a very innovative pack where uh, the plastic of a uh, of a pack is a barrier proof uh, plastic which means the rate of penetration of oxygen is extremely low or what it also means is that when we pack this product there is no oxygen inside so we first vacuum pack it and then we flush it with inert gases and there is no oxygen inside which naturally helps us uh, extend our shelf life to about 7 days for bread about 25 to 30 days for cakes and about a few months for our crackers and our cookies so our packaging technology is the reason why we've been able to uh, bridge this gap okay so uh have uh, uh, learned bread making from new york and uh, you have been a pastry chef trained uh, in paris so you did you always want to become a baker uh, from when where did this passion come from um uh, i don't know if i always wanted to be a baker i don't think so because i studied uh, psychology and human resource uh, as part of my college education food is something that always interested me i don't really know i mean it was something i used to like doing at home i would uh, i was uh, interning with a chef in canada at one point uh, who was teaching me how to make lebanese food but uh, when me and my husband who is also my co-founder de- uh, decided that let's start a bakery we felt very strongly that one of us needs to be trained in the art of it instead of just hiring people we wanted uh, that one of us should have the in depth technical know how and uh, i went to new york to the french culinary institute to learn how to do bread baking and uh, it was really with the intention that you know thoda bahut seekh kar aa jayenge that kind but my chefs were fabulous these were extremely well trained chefs very passionate and i remember on my fifth day when i was baking a french sourdough and when i was shaping it uh, in that moment i realized that the whole purpose of me on this planet is to bake that's the re- that's the purpose of my life and i think when anyone experiences uh, an enlightenment like that uh, it's a game changer for your life so to me uh, that was the stepping stone saying okay i'm going to bake for the rest of my life and that's how the baker's dozen was born wow <laughs> that's quite a journey uh, so you know our readers have always wanted to know that how to bake a perfect bread at home you know so do you have any tips that you would like to share with them um bread baking is an extremely slow process so if you want to bake a, a good loaf of bread at home you should be able to give at least 5 to 6 hours dedicated to it you don't need the entire 5 to 6 hours you will go back and forth but you should be around your bread for this 5 to 6 hours whichever recipe you pick up uh, stick to the recipe that's been given to you do not uh, change any grammage do not change any weights or ratios and uh, follow each and every step carefully Uh, I don't think every recipe out there works, but uh, try a few from different chefs. Uh, some Indian, some non-Indian, and identify the one that works for you when you followed all the steps accurately. And whichever worked for you, just do more of that until you learn to better your product. Okay. So my uh, last question to you is: uh, uh, What lies ahead? What are the future plans? the future has been quite interesting and uh, very dynamic to be honest uh, we had a very different uh, vision uh, about 2 uh, years ago for the bakers dozen 
the way we look at vehicles just now is uh, we are present currently in about 10 cities um we are present in uh, amdabad ba- uh, baroda surat bombay pune bangalore hyderabad chennai delhi when i say delhi i mean all of ncr we will probably expand our reach uh, to another uh, 10 odd cities in the next month month and a half with our range of cakes and cookies and uh, we see bakers doesn't becoming a very national large d2c brand in the next year year and a half about 2 years ago we had uh, three of our own stores pan india we are currently at about 50 of our own stores pan india and we want this figure to come to about 100 120 in the next uh, 8 to 9 months and uh, it, with a very very simple aim that uh, every bread consumer in india should eat a good healthy sourdough and we want to find a way to get to them so accessibility to sourdough should be very very easy so we're going to concentrate a lot on our distribution and accessibility so that wherever you may be you could be in dhudhiana you could be in chandigarh you could be in calcutta you could be in chennai everybody should get the same handmade consistent product so how will you be able to maintain the quality considering uh, the expanse the vast about india we so how will you in a, a very very process oriented brand we have some fundamentals about the product uh, bang on right where we uh, select extremely good quality ingredients we never uh, cut short um, or cut corners on ingredients ever uh, second is we follow over the steps that are required traditionally to make a authentic sourdough we've never skimped on that now the question really comes of uh, is how do you scale that uh, we have a, a very world class uh, hygienic facility put up in gujarat which is about 25000 square feet and we will be expanding this further or uh, we have a very uh, thorough training program for all the bakers who come and work at the baker's dust so they are taken through all the steps we don't know how much they may already know from the market but we ask them to forget everything that they know and come to us and we teach them from ground zero back to the basics the way i was trained so we believe by a lot of uh, quality control on in terms of ingredients a lot of quality control in terms of process it makes it extremely easy for us to scale okay thank you so much aditi it was a pleasure connecting with you i'm sure our viewers also enjoyed the conversation immensely thanks a lot thank you take care